news story hit uh, the media here. A man in Elmhurst, an elderly man, made the decision to take the life of his two adult children with disabilities, and then take his wife's life, and then to take his own life. This was a family that we had served for many years. What happened, we believe, was a fear about the future on the part of the parent that led to that just horrific decision. We want every parent to have confidence that their child will have a great life. And we want every parent to be able to have somebody to talk to. To know that there's somebody out there that cares for them too as they're caring for their child. PACT is really uh, ideally suited to be the place where this service can be offered because we are the center point of where all services come together. Everybody who has a disability comes to us for screening and we provide that ongoing monitoring and support for people with disabilities. They need somebody who can help them to navigate the waiting period, looking for resources, to know that there are other people that they can talk to. The components of the Parent Support Project would include, first of all, having a parent liaison, uh, an individual who is a parent of a, a child with developmental disabilities, has been through many of these transitions we're talking about, and can be a resource, a direct person to talk to. The second component would be to provide greater educational uh, opportunities and resource information to parents going through these situations and transitions. So it's our goal to pilot this project with local dollars, with fundraising dollars, so that we can demonstrate to the state that this is something that they need to fund. And for a small investment, we can avoid the sorts of tragedies that we have seen occur over and over again in the newspaper. What it's going to take to get it going is the participation of local people and organizations to partner with us to get it off the ground. We've got to break the cycle. We've got to do a better job of making sure that no parent feels alone. We can't let another parent reach the conclusion that the only option is for them to take the life of their child. We can't let this happen anymore. She's our success and our inspiration. You know, I can't imagine getting up in the morning without seeing that face first thing. You know, she somehow, with everything that's going on with her, she finds it in her to wake up with a smile. It, it's very easy to be all consumed with a child with special needs. I'm no good to my children if I'm not taking care of myself. And it's, it's just that simple. I finally started going back and working out and, uh, you know, Megan's not getting lighter to, to lift out of the wheelchair and get in the position, uh, the, the constant positioning in and out of the chair all day long and um, into the bed, changing, feeding. We're so fortunate to have her because she's really put things in perspective for us. This, you know, this, this isn't a burden for us, and our friends don't talk to us as if this were a burden. You know, like I said, it's just kind of part of life, so. The cup's half full, it's not half empty. You know, keep that positive attitude. You know, I hate to say it like this, but our next phase is what happens with Megan once we're gone, which, you know, we, think, we still think we're young. <laughs> The key ingredient to this is not doing the paperwork at the last minute. You know, anticipating that your child is going to be a certain age by a certain time, and all of these ducks need to be put in a row. It's not just Crystal who I see it packed. It's everyone that supports her. Um, so it's the entire agency. It's folks in the state. It's the donors who support PACT. And, you know, it's, um, so it's hundreds of people. It's not just the faces that we've gotten to meet. I felt like we had someone else to help take care of us. <laughs> when again, we weren't the experts to do it, and it was somebody that was not only looking out for our daughter, but really looking out for us as well. And, um, I would say that PACT is there to help you when you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> They're and, like the, the broker to yeah. good things happening yeah. for you and your family. I think and especially your child. Yeah. How scared I was the day I found out Maggie had Down syndrome. And I cried for four hours and I really didn't know where to turn. I was directed towards PACT.
they reached out to me and told me when Maggie was released from the hospital, they'd be there for me and they have been. PACT has really helped me embrace and appreciate who Maggie is. Yes. More? More what? If I didn't have PACT to do that for me, I don't know where we would be right now. Definitely not almost on the verge of walking, eating table foods, um, learning sign language. Being communicative. You know what clap your <laughs> when Maggie needed glasses and I didn't know where to turn because we couldn't afford to pay for them, Jenna was right there getting me in touch with people in the office that might know places we could go to help us pay for them. Um, sorry, <laughs> that's, a, that's a tough one. Give me a second. I don't think that I would have been able to keep my sanity the past two years if I didn't have Pact and Jenna taking care of the really big stuff for me. They enable me to focus on what's important, and that's Maggie and her development and her growth. They are a lifesaver in an ocean of chaos, and you feel like you're in that ocean and you're not going to make it, and then you get that one hand up and it changes everything. It changes your entire outlook. It changes your confidence in yourself, in your family, in your kids, in what you can do. And every day it gets better and better because PACT is there to help you. Uh, you know, my dreams for my family changed tremendously when Zach was born and here comes the tears. Along came our surprise of Zach. And um, quickly into our pregnancy, he was diagnosed with hydrocephalus. So our hopes for him quickly became just life. I was the one who was out doing other things and not involved in helping kids with disabilities and then I had one. So our family consists of myself and my husband Kevin and our 14 year old son Zachary who is autistic and has hydrocephalus, global developmental delays, epilepsy, optic nerve hypoplasia, and hypopituitarism. And then he has a younger brother Benjamin who is 12 and he is an amazing younger, older brother because he's functionally older than Zach. We have worked with PACT every year for the last, since Zach was three, so 11 years. And now it's once a month they check in on us and make sure Zach's working on the goals with his caretakers. Um, Zach had gotten himself into a situation where he had hurt myself and my, his brother. Crystal has been able to put Ben and I in a safer position because we've been able to keep Zach in situations that are more safe for him, more less stressful for him, that don't incite the aggressive behavior. PACT is a lifesaver. They have truly given us a level of life-saving respite. It saved our sanity. It saved um, Zach from putting him and his brother and I in dangerous situations when we couldn't keep him on his schedule. It now can prevent him from crawling, ever crawling out a window again. You just have to get up and just take each day as it comes and just focus on the positive one day at a time. Goodbye! Goodbye.